Hi everybody, Lorraine here. I had this idea today. I was thinking, what would it look, what would happen, what would it turn out like if I took a glove and filled it with paint and spun it and let it drip onto the canvas. So what I have on this is I took the four fingers and I put a little probably cannot see it at all. It's a little clear elastic band around those four fingers. So I'm going to put it in a cup. Try and do this so you can see what I'm doing here. Move my canvas over. I'm going to put it in a cup, stretch it around the edges of the cup. This is just an experiment. I have no idea what's going to happen. So, put it in the cup like this. And what I have here is I have an, a deco art amethyst. It's a metallic. This has a few drops of the um, OGX coconut oil serum in it. I have a Master's Touch Viridian. And I have a Master's Touch Naples Yellow. And I'm going to use white along with it. So let's see what happens. Start out with some white in there. This is an 8 by 10 canvas, so I'm thinking I'm going to need probably about probably about 4 ounces of paint. And I believe I have about an ounce each of the color here. And like I said, I have the um, coconut oil serum in the amethyst and also in the viridian. I don't have any in the Naples yellow or the white. So I'm just going to layer these up a little bit, just like you would for a dirty cup. Pour in my Viridian. Pour in the Amethyst. A layer of white in there. Do this again. I'm hoping they don't get too muddy in there. They seem to be going into the glove pretty neatly. One more time here. Give that a little time to soak down. Tap it off with the rest of these. I have been mixing my paints using Floatrol. I use two parts Floatrol, one part paint, and a little bit of water in there just to bring it down to a better flowing consistency. And I actually think I'm going to try to experiment with a 50-50 mixture and see how that turns out. I'm going to give this a minute to drain down. It looks like it's moving kind of slow. don't want to shake it up too much. Get my canvas back here in the middle of our frame. Move things out of the way because this might fling a little bit. <laughs> I'm using a um, previously used canvas here that I didn't like the way it turned out. So I just put white paint over it. Probably gonna have to touch up the sides a little later. If this is a keeper, who knows? It may not be. So 
So the plan is, I'm going to take this glove full of paint here and twist it as much as I can here and try and hold it. Oh, it went into the thumb. <laughs> I tried to tuck the thumb in so the paint wouldn't go in there. I'm going to snip the fingertips. I hope I'm not moving this around too much. Right-handed scissors in my left hand. Just putting little snips in here. I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing, but I have to give it close enough to me to see what I'm doing. I don't want very big holes in there. I just want little, little snips if possible. And then i got to find the end of my rubber band here. kind of rolled it up so that it would have a place where I could cut it. twist back on here and I'm just going to pull this off. Oh, it all kind of went in the middle. Oh. A lot of white there. Still looks kind of cool. I thought it might give us a nice little swirly look here. Could turn out to be pretty neat though because there's some nice cells popping up. There's a lot of air bubbles in there. Maybe we can get some of the silicone to come to the top, the methicone from the hair serum. Man, I wish it would have done this on all of them because right there is a really cool line of little cells. I've always wanted to do one of those pendulum pours where you hang it from something and with a little hole in your cup and you let it swing around, but you'd need a much bigger canvas for that. I'm going to move this around a little bit and see what we come up with. The white is very prominent, very, very prominent. So. these corners covered. That's why I called it an experiment. <laughs> it does look pretty neat though. That metallic um, amethyst looks pretty nice in there. Edges covered pretty nicely here. Got a lot of paint on my hands. <laughs> it's no fun if you don't get messy, I think. Very subtle and subdued. Kind of cloudy looking with the paint, the white paint on there. Got a couple minutes though, we'll probably have some cells pop out. This side right here looks really nice. Try and stay away, far enough away to where I just warm it up so the 
dimethicone comes to the top instead of giving me little pin points. Looking up at my camera, it looks like a big white blob. It does look pretty clo cool close up though. I wish some of those colors would come through. And then be a really nice pour. Maybe if I move it a little bit more. I have one spot. Oh, there's not very much paint left on there. I don't think it's going to move very much. Interesting. It was fun. <laughs> I guess that's what it's all about. I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes and then I'll bring you back and give you a close up on it. So guys, here it is. It's very cloudy. Thinking it might make a really cool background for something. Figure that out. But there are some kind of neat cells going on. It's not what I imagined. I thought I'd have little circles of color on my canvas. But, okay. That's why it's an experiment. That's why I call it playing with paint. That's pretty neat right there, coming through. I might have to try this again without the white in there. Just use a white background. So everybody, if you like my videos, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. That helps me with my ranking. And uh, share it with your friends. Thanks for visiting with me. Bye.